Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Libra in the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this connection this month. I'm going to pull some individual energy for you guys. Let's see what's going on. The deck I'm using for this is the Sacred Forest. The Sacred Forest. Okay. Um, what deck am I using though? Listen. <laughs> Let's be happy that we got that far. <laughs> if I see them around, I can't. I don't know what they are, guys. They're really pretty, though. I like that. Uh, okay, so, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your energy. What is your attitude towards Libra? What is the status of the relationship? What are your feelings about this relationship at the moment? What are you up to? What are you up to? Okay. Ooh. Scorpio. I feel like there might be something going on with family, something where mm, Scorpio, you might be saying to your family that there's something or you know what, let me let me tell you what I really feel. I feel like there's something that you are not telling your family about this connection. I feel like there's some conflict with your feelings in response to whatever it is going on over here. But I feel like there's something that you might be hiding from your family. I feel like there's some conflict. There's some changes. But the thing is, your family knows you. I don't know where that came from. But... Yeah, so I feel like there's a need to find harmony in a situation. I see that. So you may not be telling the whole story to your family. Okay. Scorpio. Hmm, what is this? Retreat. Yep, see that too. Taking some time away. I feel like some of you guys have been away from friends. I feel like the energy is avoidance. I feel like there's some kind of action that you know you need to take. Like you need to say something in order to make you feel, yourself feel better. Or to relieve yourself of some emotions. When it comes to things like this, yes. I want a new beginning. But I don't know how to get it when I can't reach out to anybody. I feel like you guys just want like a clean slate. Right? I feel like in order for you guys to move on, is something that you feel like you need to confess. I feel like you guys need to reach out to your friends, but you also need to be mindful of how much you tell. But if your situation is that dire, right, I would reach out to who you need to reach out to. Just saying. All right, so I, I, I feel that. Let's see, what else do we have here? Scorpio, tell me some more about how you feel. What's up? Gratitude. Hmm. I want to feel happy. I know that I should be grateful to have this, 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 and this, but there's something that does not feel. I don't feel grateful for whatever this is right now. I don't feel that it does. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like you are looking for harmony in something and you can't get it. And when you do get it, that's when your gratitude comes. I know that sounds weird. I'm going to see if I can explain this better as we go on with the reading. But go ahead and give me Libra's energy, please. Ooh, I was not trying to have somber today, but I guess it's going to be somber. This is Scorpio, and it is Libra. Okay. Libra, what's going on? What's going on, Libra? Renewal. I'm not sure if I want to do this. I'm not sure if I want to continue with this. This is after the fact. Ooh. Flow. Okay, let me go back to this, right? I feel like with you guys, you're looking for some kind of... I feel like for some of you guys, there wasn't enough give and take. Or maybe you feel like there wasn't give and take. Or you feel like somebody was taking too much or whatever. There wasn't any balance. So I feel like... I don't know where this situation is currently at the moment. But I feel like somebody's wishing to renew something. Now, what is renewal, right? You think, oh, renewal. You are separated. Da -da 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 -da. You could be, right? But there's also emotional separation too, which is what I feel here. Right, so when we say renewal in this particular reading for now, this could change based off what we pull. But with the renewal card, I see that you could want to renew the love and the relationship. Okay. Okay, flow. Now, again, you guys are looking for some kind of partnership, duality, balance. I'm looking for balance in this. I'm looking for some kind of stability in something where I also want to find harmony. Hmm. Acceptance. For some of you guys, the acceptance piece of it is you don't feel 
But you know that there was something that wasn't stable, if you will, or you weren't feeling comfortable in some kind of situation, or this is your current energy. I am not feeling comfortable in this situation. I feel like there was something that I wanted. There's something that I wanted to work out. I wanted it to be stable, but instead I got something else. Let's take a look and see what else we have. All right. Now, Scorpio, let's get right into your piece of it. I feel like there's a little bit of reluctance here with the Ten of Swords reverse. It talks about there's something stopping you from moving forward in this relationship. As a matter of fact, Scorpio, I see that you are making excuses. Excuses for why you probably don't want to go somewhere to face your friends and your family. All right, so this is Scorpio. Oh, yeah, everything's great. We're just really busy. We're just, we're busy. Yeah. See, the, mm, let me shut up. Yeah, I see. This mess. Oh, okay. So anyway, yeah, so Scorpio's hiding, like, status quo. Oh, yeah, everything is great. You want everybody to think everything is fine, but people know you vibe. Like, you're not coming around the way you used to. You're not opening up. When they do talk to you, that voice that joy that is typically there is not there something different about you and you see people see it right so Scorpio you are acknowledging here that the relationship has changed with the Queen of Cups reverse you know that the relationship changed right um, some of you guys have these psychic abilities right and some people are just well aware however you want to word it whatever word best describes that type or whatever for you right I feel like some of you guys have this great ability to understand feelings understand subtle changes understand when you don't feel right and because you have these abilities Scorpio you just completely ignored your intuition all right so I feel like also for some Scorpios let's see this, this is not for everybody and I don't even like addressing these in my readings but there are some Scorpios and that's what it's saying in here I'm gonna say a Scorpio because this okay I'm gonna say a Scorpio you do have some Scorpios who who practice things that are you know how can I explain this? That are dark. Things that are very dark. Uh, there are some instances where you have uh, some people in this energy who want what they want at all costs. And they're going to do what they got to do to get it. Where they got to mix up this and say a couple of that and sprinkle this. That's, you know, I'm just saying. Right? So it's not being used in a positive way. That is not for everybody. Again, that's just for a few. Okay, but otherwise, I feel like Scorpio understands that this relationship has changed, right? So the, just the whole dynamic of the relationship has changed. And Scorpio's hiding it from friends and family. So with the Ten of Cups here, what do we see? Delays. Scorpio's thinking now, you know what? I'm not sure if I can make this relationship work. Like, I'm not sure if this is something that I want. I see it's too much work. It's too much trouble. All right, I feel like we've been together for this amount of time. We should at least be here. I don't have that. Let's take a look at Libra. So Libra, I'm showing here that you want security. That is your main focus. That is my concern. I want security. I want long-term security. I want to make sure I'm good. <clears throat> Penny pension. I can't even go get my hair done because you're penny pinching. Ah, locked in the house. You're going to be locked in here. Ooh, that's that. This is not all you guys. This is this Scorpio and this Libra. I'm just saying, there's something that paralyzes Scorpio. Now, if we look at the energies, I'm not taking the necessary steps forward because there's something that's making me stuck. I'm making excuses about why I can't come around. Really, it's because a lot of you guys, my partner, won't let me really you know, out the house like that. Or I can't really get out like that because I'm stuck in the house. I'm stuck doing this and that in the house or whatever. And for some of you guys, they're just they're cheap. And it doesn't afford you the opportunity to go get your hair done or be here, 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 and there, right? So that's what I feel for you guys with this energy. I feel like there's an issue with security. It's not that these things are done by Libra out of being mean or anything like that. This is just, I want security. But for some of you guys, a situation happened, right? If you notice Scorpio's energy, this is status quo. Why is it like that? So if we look at the energy here, it talks about these holding on I'm holding on this is Libra I'm holding on to something I'm holding on to a situation I'm holding on to the past I'm holding on to this I'm holding on to that and as you keep holding on to these things Libra your energy is really just like turning Scorpio off like I don't even want to do this anymore this is too much all right so there's something that you're holding on to now I also want to say you currently have Scorpio resisting this situation like I don't know if I want to do this anymore 
I feel like Scorpio is emotionally closed off. But your energy, right? Your energy right now is I am sending love messages. I'm totally into this. But it might be a little bit too much. I feel like there's a lot of love in here. I feel like there's a lot of emotions here. But I feel like there's something that makes Scorpio feel like I don't want to do this. It's just that we're not as far as we should be. Um, with Scorpio, I do see there is a focus on emotions here. Because we see this is about you know emotions for them. Queen of Cups and Ten of Cups. Now, we do see Libra's main concern is pentacles. I mean, that's what they do, right? But then we have emotions also, but then we have, you know, creative ideas. See, at this point, Scorpio seems to be kind of done with the situation, but I don't feel like Scorpio's expressed it. Why? Because we have somebody who's emotionally closed off. Like, I'm not telling you how I feel about the situation. I'm just trying to keep it low profile. So, so my family and, and uh, my friends don't notice that I can't do anything because of whatever, or I feel unhappy in this situation or I'm not happy or whatever right so there's something that they're holding behind but I also feel like here because of this because of this attitude towards money or attitude towards the situation you're limiting your opportunities Libra you're also limiting your opportunities with Scorpio it seems like that could be the one thing that really just whoo but the knight of cups here I'm sending you messages of love I love you da -da -da, I want da -da -da, da -da -da. I want to be involved. I'm in love. I want to see you. I want to help you. I want to help you. So I'm offering something to you. All right. So Libra is deeply, deeply emotionally involved in this situation. And but Libra is moving on to a new cycle. Right. So Libra feels like, you know what? I, I, I think it's a matter of you guys not really communicating what your goals are. All right, I feel like certain things are being done, and Scorpio's not asking why are you doing this, but you're also not volunteering the information. But what you are volunteering are messages of love. But there's still something that makes Scorpio feel uncomfortable. Let's take a look and see um, what your common energy is here, because I see that there's going to be a new cycle here. Scorpio's feeling uncomfortable in this connection, and I see Libra trying to make up for it, but ultimately, I feel like you guys may have lost some kind of spark in this relationship, or... Um, you know, what, once, what was once cute in a relationship at the beginning? Oh, I get to be with you 24 hours a day and did it all, you know, all of that. That stuff wears off. And I don't know if it wore off and whatever, whatever happened. I don't know if it wore off, but I feel like there's some kind of a loss here. I feel like there's emotional loss. And for some of you guys, you may have stepped away from the relationship, right? Somebody might be accepting something. Somebody might be thinking, this is what I thought I wanted, but now I don't know if I want to renew Right, so that could be Libra. Like I, you know, the emotions are there. If I, I've expressed my love, I express my love, gratitude, none. Retreat. I'm trying to get away. Family. Why do I feel so much resentment though? I think I feel resentment on the end of Libra because Libra's like, listen, I want to help you, right? So I do think this this might be financially, right? But I also feel like Libra's like. I put in all this effort, but I don't know when you put in effort. I mean, I feel like Libra was moving more with actions and words, but Scorpio was just closed off. Hmm. All right, so, shame. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pull some love cards. Let me, you know what, let's bring some, let's bring some light to it. Uh, secret messages from the heart. We want to see if we can get a feel for if anything connects or whatever they have to say. So I'm going to ask the cards. Give me a card for a Scorpio, please. Show me Scorpio's vibe. What is the, what is Scorpio's message? If Scorpio could tell us something, what would Scorpio want to tell us? Oh, okay, Scorpio. I stare at your picture a lot because you're so beautiful. Oh, jeez. Okay, Scorpio. All right. Um, so, uh, okay. Libra. What do you got? Cause I, I mean, well, if you didn't speak up, I'm not surprised. But then you don't, you don't express how you feel about stuff. Tell me more. Give me a uh, Libra, please. Give me a card for Libra. No matter what happens, you will always be special to me. Libra's still saying the sweet stuff. I stare at your picture. I do want to understand. Scorpio, you're staring at the picture because they're beautiful. Whatever this is, wherever this is leading, I want it. You are on my path for a reason, and I am so grateful for your friendship. 
I'm so grateful for your friendship. I'm willing to help Scorpio. Scorpio is not expressing how Scorpio feels. Scorpio is highly psychic. Delays and obstacles because we're not where I want us to be. Loss, grief. Yep, I think there's some separation here. I'm going to say that because with the Five of Cups, it talks about loss, grief. It talks about separation. And it could be caused because of your attitudes towards things. Um, you guys, I feel like there's still an opportunity to work things out here right now, but I don't know yet. But no matter what happens, you will always be special to me. But I don't know if I want to be renewed with you like I loved you before. Now, now you're staring at my picture, Scorpio. Ooh. <sighs> I can't move forward. Give me one for. Give me one more for um for Libra, please. It will take time and patience, but we can overcome differences. Let's explore some solutions together. Yeah, you guys are gonna. I think you guys are gonna work this out. I think you guys finally accepted that there are some issues. I think you guys accepted that we have one who kind of lost their zest for this relationship based on some of the missed opportunities, such as, I don't know, even going to the free park, you won't pay for it. I'm just saying, but whatever, whatever that means. Okay, let me see what else is going on. Let me, let me pull love for you guys. Where is love? Give me love, give me love. All right. What else do we need to know in this relationship under Five of Cups? Do you want to tell us a little bit more? Tell us what we need to know under Five of Cups for Scorpio and Libra, July 2022. Tell me about Scorpio and Libra for July 2022. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Oh, I like that. I like that. I knew you guys were going to get back together. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So even if you guys separated or something like that, I think you're going to be okay. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, it looks like it passed by. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Is there anything else I want to pull? Yup, there is. These, okay. Which are all turned around, because that's just how they do. You know, literally, I could just put these in a bag and shake them. <laughs> it don't matter what you do. They're still going to do what they do. If any of you guys like like cards and you have these cards, I, you might understand. But then again, you know, whatever. But I like them though. I do. I dig them. I love the way they look. Ah, <sighs> this is cute. You know, they give me trouble. Give me a card for this couple, please. Give me a card. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Give me a card for this couple, please. Give me a card for this. Okay. Okay. Well, the one that came out. <sighs> Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Acceptance. Now, did acceptance not... Hold on, guys. Hold up. Let me put these... Now, I just want to go back. Didn't acceptance come up? It did. Acceptance came up. Okay. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. I think you guys are good. I do. All right, guys. I think that's all I have for you. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Let me just see something. Let me just make sure. Hold on. <sighs> because we're not where we want to be. I'm just not satisfied. Guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. I, 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 please. I'll see you soon. Bye.